Hi, I'm Sterling Allen from Pure Energy Systems News, online at PESN.com. Today I am at the Kepi Motor Group production facility in Cambaquita, Brazil. I have been traveling around for 11 years to find something along these lines. And finally, we have a clean energy technology of the exotic sort, which is my specialty, that is ready to go to production. Even the most efficient small motors, one third the electricity, that's what we're talking about here. Because we're using some super simple technologies that you could do, you could build this motor. But this isn't a story about just the Kepi Motor Group. This is a story about you, whoever's listening to this, wherever you live on the planet, you need technology like this, not just for fans, but you also have an opportunity to go into business, to build a company like they have here. You can do this. You can create a company around this motor technology uh, to get a group of people together that not only uh, enjoy clean energy, but enjoy working together. In this case, people have come from all over the world to make this company get to this point. They've been at this for 20 years developing this consciousness of, of how do we work together and not eat each other up. You can do this. So today as we go on a tour of the Kepi Motor, think about not, oh that's cool what they're doing, think about I can do this too. We can make something like this. That's what this is about. Well, from the beginning when we going to make this fan, we need to prepare the wood. Uh, first of all, we have to cut this uh, sides and the back of the fan, you see? It's made in plywood. Okay, we're back inside now, and we're going to go through the sequence inside. We're going to start with Will, he's from Canada, and he does the lathe stuff. Yes, we make our own shafts for the motor here. We use a simple metal lathe. We buy our eight millimeter stock in about eight foot lengths. When we cut it up, we can, you can either use a, a hacksaw or a metal saw. And then we finish it up in the metal lathe. We clean up the ends, here and here. We add the seat for the bearing and the, the magnetic hexagonal support shaft. And then we add the reverse threads for the fan blade. Well, it'll come on here like this and like that. Okay, now this part right here, we're going to talk about the heart of the heart, so to speak. Uh, what makes this motor work? What makes it different? Uh, the, the bipolar system, and uh, Cesar is excellent at ex explaining this particular part, so kind of pay attention. Uh, this is more for the scientists, uh, explaining how this system works. Okay. After the, the rotor and the motor is finished, we just need to do the windings. When we finish the windings, the result is this. You have a certain number of windings here, 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 and here. One single coil divided in four parts. Mm -hmm. So what's inside in the principle of it? Let's make like a cut in okay. it without the windings so the people can understand how it works, this principle. I put together this assembly manual for the Kepi Motor fan kit and it's in order to show people who are interested in building their own Kepi Motor fan kit or their own Kepi Motor how to do it step by step as simply as possible. So we start with uh, an explanation of the theory of the Kepi Motor, how it works from Dr. Kepi's new physics and we go through explaining each scientific principle and then we get into the actual kit itself there's the components of the kit everything is labeled laid out so it's easy for the person to see I'm a retired engineer and I have worked in ABB in Sweden and now I love to work in this to try to do something good for the planet and for humanity this is the final result, a very simple circuit as you can see here. 
these four diodes they serve to get the energy alternate current from the grid and they transform into DC current filtered by this capacitor and you have a DC filtered current to be switched by this MOSFET together with this optical sensor all the time a blind passes through it and this is what gives the pulse to the motor Where the stuff is ready. Yeah, you see Sterling, he's saying that when you point the magnet north polarity upwards, mm -hmm. then you bring the north polarity of the motor to this position, and then you can adjust the blade here. Now, would you say this is the most technical part of the whole process? That's yes, right. it's a tricky and, part. And, and do you think if Roberto could handle this, that maybe oh, anyone could do it? If he can do, anyone can do it. <laughs> so easy. Right. Before we get to this last step, with Gilbert. I want to introduce Gilbert in a little more formal setting because for me Gilbert embodies what is so exciting to me about this project which has nothing to do with the technology has to do with the community of people that we're talking to and that we're talking about that we want you to get excited about emulating this isn't about a factory setting where people clock in and then leave it at the end of the day and go home. These people live together in a community project.